I, like when you write something down, mm-hmm. I feel like you've already closed the distance between you and that thing. Okay. Because now um, it's established. And so like you're now working half the time like to get to it and it's working to get to you as well. Mm-hmm. Um, because how many times do we think about like, oh, there's this thing that I want to do, but then I don't write it down and I forget all forget about, about it. Yeah. And then maybe, maybe it comes back to mind, but then it's like between that time, the last time I thought about it and this time I thought about it, how many opportunities have I missed mm-hmm. that could have led me closer to it? Yep. And yep. so I'm a big proponent of like, yo, just put it on paper because when it's, when it's down and you just look at it, it, you know, now just kind of in the forefront of your mind. It's there, yeah. And it's like, okay, you know, when things happen in your, like, seasons, it's like, you know what? I'm closer to this goal than I, like, think. Let me do X, Y, Z steps to that. Yeah. Um, I have a running bucket list okay. that I keep on my phone. Okay. And I started this list in 2015. Um, and a lot of the things that I've checked off of this list like a lot of the bigger things that are on my list yeah. were there like years before, years before. like they, they yeah. were accomplished. And right. I'm like, that's crazy when I look back at it. I, what kind of things are on that list? So I've been on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Yeah, i seen that. That was on my list really? to meet Ellen DeGeneres in 20, yeah, 2015. Yeah. And that happened in 2018. Wow. I, I get a memory on my, um, there's a memory that I see that sh- pops up on my Facebook from when I shared something from the show in 2017 or 16. Mm-hmm. And I said something along the lines of like, it'd be dope to like be up here. here one day. Yeah. And then you and were there. Then I was there. And you've been there, what, three times three now? Three times. How, what is that like being on that, on that with Ellen? Man, it's, it was a, that experience was wild. Yeah. Like it's a lot of energy. Yeah. Like, a lot of energy and especially like when you're in Hollywood and they talk about like the bright lights of Hollywood like right now people can't see that we have like lights on in here yeah when I was sitting up there with her I could feel the feel heat the lights. Yes. from the lights in that studio yes. yeah. um, and then it's like I'm on live TV with like a live I'm in front of a live audience trying to have an interview yeah. while <laughs> it's the most you know one of the most famous people I ever met yeah. that I'm on this show and it's, they tried, they like surprised me. Like they, cause the whole thing was like, they, I got there cause I was supposed to be interviewed for an online thing. Oh, okay. And so now they're doing a tour and they're like, I didn't know they're trying to surprise me. Like I'm just on this tour. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like they announced like, Oh, and something, this is where Ellen comes out and these doors open up and it's like her on stage. There's a ramp leading up stage and I'm supposed to go up it. And wow. So my heart it starts beating faster. You're like, no, I'm not ready for like, this. <laughs> da, 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 da. And so this is where my my motto stay ready. Like yeah. stay ready so I'm ready to get ready. I'm like, so my heart is thump, 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 thump. so I go up there and she like gives me a hug. And when we start this interview, I'm having this outer body experience. Like yeah. what is happening right now? Like, while I'm talking, I'm like the meta thoughts that I'm having, because I'm like looking out here. My friends are with are here. Um, I'm talking to her. I'm trying to think what I'm trying, what I want to say. Yeah, lots happening. Yeah, and so um, we, we get to commercial break. She says something along the lines of like, "Yo, you should come back." And I was like, "Oh, I'm coming back." Oh, like, if you, you invite, invite me, me, I'm here. If you invite me, <laughs> I'm, I'm here, coming back. Yeah. I said those words to her, and um, we end the show. And like, to y'all should check that clip. But she awards me with a hundred thousand dollars. I've yeah. gone, gone through some things. And uh, we get off stage, and at the back, my my heart pounding, and I'm just trying to process what just happened. Yeah. And I'm in the green room. There's producers back there. We're talking. Producers want to come out, or the producers want to talk to me. And uh, one of the junior producers, like, yo, they don't ever do this. Like, yeah, they 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 don't really talk to like this part of talent. So yeah, make make me look good. And I'm like, all right, chill. I'm trying to be. So I'm trying to. Mecca, just be Mecca, just be yourself. Yeah. So we're talking, and they mentioned that the while we the audience got tickets to her twelve days of giveaways. Mm-hmm. Technically, because my boys were in the audience and I was on the show, we get tickets to twelve days of giveaways too, and we're coming back to the show. Nice. So when I talk about like, do I believe in like manifestation? Yeah, she invited me, and I told, uh, look, I'm coming back. Yeah, like and just yeah. that quick, that turnaround, like yeah, right I'm there. Back. I'm I'm told you I'm coming back. Yeah, like. 
That's that's beautiful, man. And and I like um I'm starting to see that manifestation with like writing it down, like making it a little bit more easier. Like back to what you were saying about like how sometimes you think I'm a person that is in my head. I've always been in my head. I always keep things in my head. I used to get in trouble in school a lot, like during math class, because I turn in my work and the answers would be right, but there'd be no, you know how they used to work. Yeah. Yeah, They'd be like, you need to show your work. And I'm like, ah, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't like writing it down. I just keep it in my head, but I'm the same way. Like I'll keep it in my head and then I'll forget about it. And then I'll be here scrambling, trying to figure out what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? And then it's not in my head. And then I forget it. And then by the time I remember it, it's too late. You know what I mean? Not necessarily too late, but like, oh, now I already done have, you know what I'm saying? Three videos that I did this week and I could have did that one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And the craziest thing is like, it's, it don't take much to just make the note because yeah. you make the note and it's there. And it's there. Yeah. There are so many. So I, oftentimes on social media, I will share, uh, so one of the memes that's along the lines of like, man, I, the, I'm i living in the prayers, like in the answer prayers that I prayed years ago, mm-hmm. or I pray for these struggles that I have now. Mm-hmm. And there are times I look back at my like notes, and again, there's journals, growth journals of like, mm-hmm. all right, this is what my goals are that I want. Um, these are the things that I'm scared of. These are what I'm sick and tired. I've got a list of like, I'm sick and tired of being broke or not being like <laughs> of being like not a uh, procrastinating of not yeah. having a mentor or not having an assistant. And I see this list and I'm like three, four years later, I'm like, all right, I can check I some that. of this stuff yeah. off of this list. Like yeah. I, like some of, and there's still some stuff that I mm-hmm. are still sick, an issue, but it's like, <laughs> but I'm like, all right, I'm still getting closer because at yeah. least I can identify that it's there Yeah, and I can make moves. Like I can identify that I've made steps in this arena mm-hmm. and I can, you know, now I want to move and make some steps in this arena. It's mm-hmm. like, it's a trickle effect to me. Yeah. And so, um, and just, re- it's again, I try, I want, I wish I journaled more. Yeah. Um, but I don't, but I try to, when it comes to mind, I try to capitalize on the energy in the moment. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right, Mecca, just, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. Just yeah. put something down. And I've never regretted putting something down. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I have never regretted making the note. Yeah. And I just like probably about a week and a half, two weeks ago, I went and got like a little whiteboard and I put it up there in my office and I like started writing down like oh, you know, how, videos yeah. do and stuff. That. And it's been helping me, you know, like I can come home, I can look at the whiteboard and be like, oh, okay, I need to do these two videos. I know what to do. You know what I mean? It gives me something to do and I can knock it off. But one of the guys that I work with, he uh, his brain works in a very like project manager way. Uh And so in my house, we've got big whiteboard that we just brain dump all like different stuff. But we'll have like a strategy meeting. We'll call it strategy meeting. And it's just me talking because I'm good with keeping stuff up here Mm -hmm. and he'll just write Write the stuff out and put the stuff out and then we'll organize it later. And so, um, having a whiteboard is going to be really good yeah. for like just keeping your goals in front of you. And ideas right there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, going back to, um, going back to like college ball and stuff, what was it like making it to that collegiate level? Like how did you feel like a sense of accomplishment when you finally made it to that level or? So, um, I played semi pro and I think the, what I'll say is the accomplishment was when we won our first championship. Okay. That was, so, back to something about like our manifestation. Uh That was the first time that I could truly feel like something was like visualized and like it happened. Cause at the beginning of the season as a team, we all like coach, they ran us through like, we're going to think or close our eyes and visualize it's the end of the season. Mm -hmm. We're in Shreveport in the championship and the clock is just ticked. We are champions and we are celebrating. We're yeah. in the locker room popping champagne. Yeah. And we spent like, you know, a good little 20 minutes on it in the beginning, you know, first time getting around or yeah. getting together with each other. And that season, we had a completely dominating season. Wow. End up in Shreveport, mm-hmm. winning this championship. Wow. Spring champagne. Yeah. The like surreal. It was such a surreal thing because. It was like I've been here before. Yeah. It was having a deja vu moment. Right. And right. that moment for me let me know like that. I think that was the first moment that just showed me visualization is like extremely powerful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so being at that level and like having this moment where we won, um, we did this together. And that was probably peak, uh, peak athlete um, 
feeling. I got you. Uh, I got you. Outside of like the little ones of like uh, the camaraderie and just being like on the sidelines, the boys, kicking it, yeah, you know? yeah. Because it's crazy. After I got after my injury, like people ask me whether or not I miss football, and it's like I I absolutely miss the game, but more than that, I miss like. Just that camaraderie. Like when I yeah. watch football, football's fine for me to watch. But like when they pan over to the sideline and everybody's just joking, I'm like, that hits me. I'm like, mm. that's whatever. That's what I think about too. Mm. That's what I think about would be like the coolest thing about. And that's one thing that I kick myself about not continuing with sports as, as much is just having those guys, you know what I'm saying? Being with your team, like on the bus going to the game, yeah. having oh. a grand time. Whenever you win, you're on the bus having fun, coming back. If you lose, the bus is silent. Dude, yeah. Everybody's and everybody's there for you. Like, yeah. like we're going to get through this together. But yeah, damn, we, but we, damn yeah. this sucks. We all you feeling know? this we thing together. We just got our ass whooped. Like. <laughs> There's nothing like it, man. Like, yeah. So when it, you know, people ask me about sports, I'm like, look, my accident was like an act, like it was its own thing. Mm-hmm. I love the, the game of football and I love what sports gives to people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it gives us so much, so much resilience and so much like understanding how to be a team player, sportsmanship, mm-hmm. like just a lot. Like mm-hmm. there's so much sports gives us and I, right. I, I can't talk about it enough. Yeah. I mean, because even though, you know, Sports, in a sense, may have taken a lot from you. It still gave you a lot oh, gave me in a your new life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To to give people hope and, and inspiration for you know what I mean. Who knows if you your impact would be as big as it was? You know, had you just been a sport I, uh, absolutely. athlete? You know. And the thing is, I never really even consider it as like sports taking anything taking a lot from me. It's like I think that life in itself just does. It's again, mm-hmm. you know, like I said earlier, as far as like. Wanting, wanting something, there's going to be a, a cost for it or a yeah. price pay. Yeah. Life, we all pay a price to right. life in our own, you know, forms and fashions. You know, but right. I, I work as a therapist now. And so I work with kids and I work with adults as a coach. Okay. And I hear so much pain. Yeah. Like, and yeah. I hear pe- when people is interested, people might try to compare my pain to theirs and they're like mm-hmm. they you know, somebody starts to say something like but it's nothing like what you've gone through I'm like you don't know what i've gone through and i don't know what you've gone through right. like right. your pain is your pain and mm-hmm. it's relative to like your experiences in your life right. mine is mine and like i've learned to carry my weight mm-hmm. and here i'm trying to teach you how to carry yours how to carry yours my my weight is giving me strength you're about to buckle under the pressure of yeah. yours so let me like you know get it out your head that like my weight is heavier than yours you trust me I'm just trying to help you get into games of yeah, strength yeah. and carry yours. Weight is weight. You know weight is saying? weight.